everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King review. Today we're talking about the title novella of If It Bleeds, If It Bleeds, titular. He, he named the, the thing after it. Holly Gibney is back, and holy shit, this, if, if he's going to end the Holly Gibney series, end it with this book. Uh, fantastic. Uh, in fact, I liked it. This is my favorite. I finished, now finished the collection. This is my favorite out of the entire collection. Um, well, we're not going to get into the other books right now. We'll, we'll talk about that maybe in the theorist videos or the spoiler videos. Um, like I asked last week, let's do another questionnaire here just to get people here at the front of the video. When I put all these together, when I do the spoiler reviews and when I do the Thursday theorist, do you want one big video each, one spoiler video, and one Thursday Theorist video, or do you want them chopped up into four episodes each? Either way, they're going to take just as long to upload, because it takes just as long to upload four small ones as it does one big one, so that is up to you guys. Um, we have no idea. I am now currently 18 in the bank as far as reviews being shot. I'm just waiting on stuff to upload. Um, but with this book, going jumping into the review, uh, it, it's fantastic. We get everything that... If you're a Holly Gibney fan, you get everything you've ever wanted to know about the character because she's the main character this time. Whereas in the Mercedes trilogy, she was a sidekick. In the uh, Outsider, she was a consultant. In this one, it is wholeheartedly Holly Gibney, and I loved it. It is my precious. Um, I am every bit of Holly Gibney. Her, it's like her entire character arc, even sections that I didn't know, came to light in here. And I feel like I am this character. Just gender-swapped Holly Gibney is all I am. I am that OCD. I am that, uh, is it pernicious? No, that's probably not a word. That, probably not a word. Uh, maybe it is. But I, I'm, I'm that anal about things. Uh, I may come off as an extrovert in my videos, but I am nowhere near an extrovert. I'm an introvert. Um, I've been fighting my way out of that forever. Uh, I do speaking engagements and things like that, but that is, it's one of the most awkward things that I do. Um, again, if you've been to any of them, you might not realize it. You might. I don't know. Uh, but Holly is everything that I am down, down to how I used to sit and watch uh, TV nonstop. Um, Holly, th there's, there's certain aspects of this book also that kind of tie into the other books in odd ways. When Mr. Mercedes opens up and we first get to meet Bill Hodges, he's sitting there watching a, a TV program, very boring TV program. And in this one, we meet up with Holly again, and she is watching a very boring TV program. Um, I appreciated that a lot. Uh, now, the main thing, I'm going to be completely honest with you, and we're going to go into fanboy territory right now. The reason why this one is my favorite one, and we will talk about this more in Thursday Theories, I promise, this one has put paid, has verified all of the connections that I have made throughout Stephen King's 70 books. Even the books that don't connect to the Dark Tower, that have never been verified to connect, he makes them connect in this one. Giving my theory weight. Um, it, of course, there is no, there's a lot of illusions, but it's pretty on-the-nose illusions. Um, and if you've watched the Thursday Theorist series, and you are as big of a fan, sorry, I'm excited, as big as big of a fan of the Dark Tower universe and the King universe, period. This book is a game changer. Every single thing that he brought into The Outsider, all these little hints and everything, but the stuff that I was putting together well before The Outsider, the tie-ins to Dreamcatcher, the tie-ins to, uh, let's see here, uh, Tommyknockers, it, all that stuff, this book nails it down and says almost the exact okay i'm not going to say any more but read it definitely read it as a review of this one we're not going into the thursday theory stuff i refuse have you read the title story if it bleeds and only if it bleeds please don't talk about the rest of the book down there in the doobly-doo if you have let me know why you liked it if you haven't let me know uh why you didn't like it, so we can have a discussion and a conversation about it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, I've been way too excited during this review. I'm going to calm down now. Woosah. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!